gym leader one more time if we can't get powerful enough. Or at least... I think I want to get everyone up to at least... I'd like to get everyone to level 13 in the next 30 minutes. But I think I'll also go in for the first evolution we hit. Not Crooked Tot, Shinx 38 experience. Just so I have maybe multiple chances at this. Oh. Uh, Machop appeared, level 7 against Shinx. This is fine. Because at this point, most of the enemy, or most of my team, has at least caught up level wise with the enemy, or the gym leaders lowest level. That's also a thing I like about how I do this. Like, in standard Pokemon, you can definitely out-level your opponent. Like, if I only brought one Pokemon with me and battled everything as I was moving forward with one Pokemon, it would be seriously way too powerful. Like, um, in Yellow. Because I decided I wanted to keep the Pikachu with me that you get in yellow all the time. I ended up with a level 80 Pikachu that can carry me through the Elite Four of Pokemon Yellow. It was just kind of that ridiculous power-wise. Like, I used that Pikachu to power level my Dratini into a Dragonite. And eventually, Dragonite came into play. So I have, on my save of Pokemon Yellow, a save where I beat the Elite Four with a Pikachu and a Dragonite. Or the entire Championship League with a Pikachu and a Dragonite. I don't think I recorded that, though. Like, back on Yellow, I would actually spend time doing grindy training off-screen just because it took a lot of time and I didn't think people wanted to see it. But now I kind of think the opposite. Oh, hi, phone. What's this? Hey, Ponyta. Also, I need... Uh, I could... Oh, right. Bidoof also learns Water Gun, which is a super useful move. Use Rock Smash. Especially going into this gym. I'm gonna Growl. I'm gonna Rock Smash you again. Attack Fell. So should I go in after I get Bidoof up to level 12 and see how we do? Or should I wait until I get everyone to level 13? Because I think... All three of the other Pokemon I have in party evolve at that level. So it might create not an issue, but other things. There we go. What do you mean, really? What are you saying, wait, really about? I've gone on a lot of different rants in the last couple of minutes. Oh joy, Geodude. Um... Yeah, sure. We'll just try. The level difference is enough to make up for the fact that nothing I hit you with is very effective, I would imagine. Although, the defense curl is an issue. Oh, Water Gun? Yeah, I think Bidoof learns Water Gun at 13, 14. Bidoof. I can check. Which is why I like having access to the internet. Oh, I guess he doesn't learn Water Gun. Huh. Oh, it's Rollout that he learns, which is okay against... yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's his evolution that does that, doesn't it? 
Yeah, a lot of people, for some reason, don't know about the barrel. Oh wow, a lot of these Pokemon are going to evolve soon. Yeah, so he can... Egg move, water jet, or aqua jet, and yeah, at evolution he weren't, learns water gun. But at evol... You do... Yeah, like, Bidoof is super useful right now. Primarily because of his, his, uh, his, well, but primarily because I gave him the HM move Rock Smash, because I don't want to give it to my starter. And I think Bidoof is the only other Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash. And yeah, I am fine with making Flick proud of my use of Bidoof. The issue being is when he evolves, because it will be his final evolution, he just goes into the bank. And I will not use him until I have to. Alright. If I run into another Geodude, I'm just gonna run, because that fight without Rock Smash is slow. Alright, Machop is fine. But yeah, I knew Bidoof naturally learned water gun it some way. Yeah, within the next couple of levels, all of these Pokemon are going to evolve, and at least and one of them is going to be removed from party. <laughs> because it'll have hit its max evolution. Which means I'll go from four Pokemon to three. Until I catch my next Additive Pokemon. Star of the Game 37 experience. Hey, Ponyta. I think the barrel could or Bidoof can handle a Ponyta. Oh yeah, he's got plenty of health left too. Oh, Four attack from that, or four damage from the Ponyta's tackle. Not bad at all. I like having ice in my glass. Every so often it just melts down, and I have more water than I had before. Without having to refill. Because I've meant to refill a couple of times during stream today, but I just kinda haven't. And, and I keep saying the barrel, but it's Bidoof. Level 12. Alright, so everyone's level 12. Do we want to take on the gym? Immediately. Or should we wait? Should I get to level 13 across the board? Because I think my electric, flying, and fire types evolve at level 13. Thank you for waiting. We're sure Pokemon full health. We hope to see you again. We only got eight minutes into this one. I'll give it another shot, and we'll then level up from there. Welcome to the Orbit Pokemon Gym. Yep. Hey, Rourke. We've talked before. Just let me battle you. There we go. I didn't realize that the most recent... Uh, Patch to Hades just kind of bumped prices up a lot. Which is confusing to me because a lot of the, like, costs are consistent across the run, which is good, but a lot of those costs seem really high when you get, like, five, ten coins per individual, uh... Ow. Yeah, this is probably not good. Per individual... What is it called? I'm, I'm dropping just memory right now. All right, Bidoof is gonna manage this by 33%. Yeah. Oh, you fucker. 
super effective. Okay, so that didn't work out. Yeah, like, 150 seemed fine, it's just that... It's too hard to get a lot of money if you don't aim for getting a lot of money. Pointed stones... Intimidate cuts due to his attack... And we will be tackling. Poseidon gives a boost to stuff acquired. And I know you get a starting boost, but... Good boy. Like, some of the stuff from Poseidon's boost is kind of consequential. Or incidental, I mean. Just someone beat this Geodude this time. Yep. With the lifesteal? Okay, lifesteal sounds cool. But yeah, I might... I might in my own time. Is Hades on the Switch? That is a good question. Is Hades on the Switch? Because if it is... I might play it at work. If I have time. There we go, Starly level 13? Not yet, at least. Okay. Double team. Double team's useful, but... Let's see, what else do I have? Growl and quick attack. Yeah, let's do growl. Because double team just makes it hard for me to get hit, which means... Stats downs are lesser. Starting to learn double team. Send in Onyx. I'm gonna keep using Starly. Yeah, we're definitely better off than we were. Ooh, dropping my defense. That's not good for me. Double team. I think I'm gonna try and multi double team. Yeah. Never mind. That was a dumb idea. Alright, Chimchar. So, we have to hit next level instead. Jesus Christ, those stones. Within 2020, they plan to bring on other platforms? Alright. That's fair. Not very effective, but it's a special attack. Chimchar's going to die here. <laughs> He's going to get a rock dropped him on him the size of that one right behind Onyx's head. Not very effective. Rock throw. And there it is. Alright. So, we made progress on where we were last time. We had 104. That means I had more money? Last time it was only 88. Story of Pokemon to full health. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. And I think that does mean that the next level Star League gets definitely gives him an evolution. Okay, no, it's not 13, it's a different level. Distance, you should stock come on potions and bookmark. Yes, don't tell me how to do things. And Star League's at the back of the pack, and we will raise everyone to level 13 now instead. And maybe... Just because of Bidoof against Machop, I may end up level with a level 14 Starly. Yeah, Geodude. Wild Geodude appeared. I'm cool with that. Rock Smash. Geodude, super effective. Defense fell. Defense curl. Curses and Hungover? Interesting. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? The thing where you can boost your damage if you use multiple, like, if you get multiple status ailments? Chris devalued it a lot, but realistically it's really strong 
after finding out with, I think, in Flick's run, he had an instance where multiple poisons actually count towards that. So you get a stack of three, I think it's three poison, and you do more damage to a creature that has that stack on it, unless I'm mistaken. But like, what I would end up doing is buffing a bunch of stuff until I can afford the next level of Death Defy, then transfer all of the points I have into Death Defy just because it gives you a longer survival time and then you buff the rest of it up and then transfer it all again once you believe you've got at least the next level of Death Defy. Just as a strategy. And in the long run, you get stronger then weaker, then stronger then weaker until you run out of buffs you can put on Death Defy. Like, I don't mind losing stats for a decent amount of survivability in that kind of aspect. And I like the less... Unlike Isaac, it has a less randomness. You have a trinket rotation. That's interesting. Yeah, what is... You might know already, but what is that bar of things in the trinket box underneath? Like, it makes me think you'd be able to choose, like, five... Like, eventually unlock the ability to choose five trinkets. And you get all five bonuses. But that feels like it would be overly powerful. Yeah, and didn't they add a new god? Which god did they add in the most recent update? Hmm. No clue? Okay. Purse for early money, then Cerberus Collar, or the Thanos... Butterfly, and then Skelly Tooth. And, okay, I get... Is a friendship? Ah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So how does the, um... What is it? The alcohol work system work for the friendship bars. I, get, I saw in Flix it says you have to talk to so many people or to everyone so many times and get certain out or and get certain interactions with them, and I get that. But does the does giving them alcohol start something or skip something like that? Or are we... Do we have anyone in the game group of Chris, you, and Flick, and everyone else that's playing it in Flick's Discord even made it that far? Seems one booze to one heart. Okay. Makes sense. Rigatot! Yeah. Okay. Interactions seem to unlock lore. Which I would imagine if you get far enough into the lore and the uh, booze trees, I would think that you get bonuses to even, like, extra bonuses onto the bait, the, uh, what are they? The trinkets. And maybe stats. That could be interesting. Do you know, I know in his most recent thing he has, on YouTube he hasn't, but has Flick started doing the heats of things or is he not consistently beating Hades enough for that to really matter?
I feel like the heats should give you buffs to yourself while you're doing that. Boons just get better, yeah. Oh yeah, if you max out their things, like they have, they can't be common boons anymore. They're like rare or higher, like rare, epic, or more likely to have legendary. I could definitely see that as being part of the case. No clue. Hey, there we go. Roll out. This will be a useful move. We'll replace Growl. You pop in and out of stream too much. Yeah, I get that. I get... I don't always have enough time to watch stream. That's why I'm very consistent on watching his stuff on YouTube. All right, Chimchar, let's get you up to level 13. Oh boy, a Geodude. Yeah. I'm gonna get better about knowing what I want to talk about while I'm streaming. Like, often it's just, I want to talk about the game, or talk to people about things they want to talk about. Just burn, you need to use mud sport. Electricity's power is weakened. It is hurt by its burn. I burnt a rock. Chimchar gained 52 experience. Yeah, that'll work. And a Ponyta. Level 7 Ponyta. That'll give me some good experience. I definitely need some water here in a second. Like, some proper water, not just the dregs off of melting ice. Charles Defense fell. That's fine by me. We're gonna keep scratching at this horse. Chimchar's attack fell. Scratch again. Oh, Ponyta. We're getting there. <sighs> Ponyta fainted. 152. That's some good experience. Oh boy. <sighs> Ponyta appeared. Go Chimchar. Uh, yeah, we'll scratch you again. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping to be able to get through Dragon Ball. I don't know why I'm just going back to this, but I am definitely thinking I'm going to get through the Dragon Ball Kakarot game within the month, maybe? Because I got through most of a saga in four hours, but it could change dramatically. Also, oh, I thought Chimchar evolved at level 13. Never mind. All right, Shinx, what do we got with you now? I was really hoping he would evolve at level 13. We're gonna take one more shot at the gym leader after I get Shinx leveled, I think. Actually, I think we'll do it immediately after this Ponyta. Because Shinx doesn't really play a part into it, usually. But I know the evolved form of the monkey, Chimchar, actually gets a fighting type attack. Naturally. So, if I can get him to evolve, that helps my team out dramatically. 108 experience. Alright, we're gonna save, then I'm gonna run to the gym. 
and see if I can take him on with level 13 instead of 12. Saved game. No, not that. Switch to Bidoof. And Shanks will be... Uh, before Starly. I'm just gonna run them in the order that's at the bottom of screen right now. And if I can get the experience out of... Honestly, if I can regularly get the experience out of the Geodude and the Onyx for two Pokemon, it'll definitely be worth more than trying to go after the wild Pokemon. I'll just have to turn all of my money into Pokeballs before I start that kind of a streak. Oh, you saw what it does? Wait, what What does? Oh, full friendship. Okay. I'm curious, but I also don't want it spoiled for other people. So that's interesting. Battle with you, battle with you. Okay. I also just found out that Chris is about to start streaming, so I might wait until after he starts and then end my stream. Rock Smash. There we go. Oh, that's a critical. Uh, that's not as good. I was kind of hoping for a one-shot on a critical. Rock Smash again. She's going to heal him, probably. Defense fell, rock throw, yep, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Come on, rock smash, yep. I said she was gonna heal him, but no, it was the gym leader is a male. It's a guy. Super effective. Rock throw again. Rock smash. Granted, using the All right, good plan, Rogalf. Say nothing to no one. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Judo, Bidoof. 187 experience. And hopefully, I can get at least one shot off with Bidoof here. Nope, it's Rock Throw that's just Ending me so badly, though, huh? But who fainted? All right, Chimchar. We're gonna start. I'm gonna hope I can get a burn on Onyx. Oh, speed. Good. I got speed on the Onyx. I think he's gonna. Oh, he doesn't screech, so that's fine, but I'm still a bit nervous about how much damage he'll be able to manage. Come on, burn. You weird rock thing. I think that's it. <laughs> yep. Unless my wing attack can do enough. We got this, I hope. I hope, hope, hope. Like, if I can get... If I could get his Geodude out before he gets a chance to do his deal with the Stealth Rocks, it would change this battle completely. Yep, super effective. Okay, so Chris is starting his stream already. That is good by me. So yeah, after this, it is actually going to be time to end, so I picked the right time to try. Intimidate. I really probably should have gone for Shinx first, huh? And in my own time, I'm going to level them up at least once to level, thir to level 14 overall. 
and then we'll go at it next time, which will be, which will be next Wednesday. Not very effective. Rock throw, Shinx is out. Yeah. Oh wait, is Rock not super effective? To that doesn't seem right. It's not super effective, but he is highly damaging. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring them up one more level. Two for Shanks for now. And then go back at it next time. So guys, please stay safe, have a nice day, and I will see you next time.